I'm an artistic person. I can't paint, but I like to make things with my hands. I enjoy pottery and knitting. I sort of get into a lot of weird hobbies like that. When I first saw my script, the image that's on the poster, the big-eyed waif in the blue dress, was on the cover. And I felt familiar. It felt like I'd seen it before, but I wasn't sure how. And I think that that speaks to how ubiquitous those paintings are because they were mass produced. They've somehow ingrained themselves into our subconscious. The eyes are the windows of the soul. That's why I paint them so big. I've always done it that way. Why are you lying? The writers used my character to get everybody up to speed with the happenings in San Francisco. And I represent a sort of bigger feminist movement, a, a bolder woman of that time who speaks up. I probably would have been a part of the feminist movement if I were alive in the 60s. When I read the script, I felt incredibly frustrated for Margaret and the fact that that only happened 50 years ago. But I also felt very grateful that I live in a time where I can do what I want and, and pursue the dreams that I have and say what I want to say for the most part. Uh, so I feel grateful. I feel grateful to live, you know, now. <laughs> strong, powerful women. That's what I kind of gravitate towards. When you see something good, you, you, it stands out and you want to fight for it. It would be greedy for me to say that there aren't a lot of roles because I'm working consistently and I'm very fortunate. But yeah, I, I definitely think that there's, I, I, see, I see more opportunities for boys than I do for girls. But that's hopefully changing.